Hey guys and girls, Lisa here. So I am in Colorado now. I've been here for about two weeks and I'll do another video on that so you can see what exactly I'm doing here. But it's a lovely, beautiful, sunny day. I'm in a tank top and a skirt and thought I'd do some work on the bike. Um, so I don't know how many of you have seen my video <laughs> called uh, the driveway to hell. Uh, so basically the last time I rode up that in Nevada, I um, my headlamp went out um, the bulb. I don't know what happened to it. I'm about to investigate that. But driving up that in darkness for three miles of dirt was not fun. So I figured I would start on that and then I'm going to winterize the bike, but I'll do another video on that later. Uh, but yeah, so I've never changed a light bulb on a bike in my life and um, so trial and error, I'll see how we go and this is pretty much how I learn everything um, just give it a go and, and look at manuals and things online it's the easiest way to do it so here we go okay so I purchased a new light bulb from O'Reilly's and um, hopefully this will do the trick and I've got my toolkit out so my bike is a 2008 Suzuki Boulevard M50 um, it has seen me ride across Canada and the US, um, I think I'm up to something like, oh my god, in miles, um, probably about 20,000 miles now in five months. And um, so he did really well. I just, I kept up the services and oil changes and filter changes and things like that. And he did awesome. So now I'm going to attempt to do the headlamp. I've got my tools here. Uh, all of these tools come with the bike. Um, they're just in a side panel there. So a lot of the things on this bike, you either use um, an Allen key um, or one of these spanners or wrench. I'm not sure what you call it in the US. So it looks like on the side here, there's two, I don't know if you can see that, two little Allen key needed screws. Um, so I'm going to start by taking that off and see if I can get into the bulb there. Okay, this is really friggin' hard to do this with one hand, but um, so I've got the right Allen key, it fits, so I'm going to start by loosening that. Need some tunes on here. Okay, so I got the two bolts off and that was easy enough. So I just used the Allen key and pulled them out. So I'm gonna put them down there. And now it's time to try and get this bit off. So I'm gonna put the camera down here. Hopefully you can see what I'm about to do. Just wiggle this a bit. And it should come out. There's no other screws or anything around here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to have to try and get this out. Which looks easy enough. I just pull this back to get to the actual lamp or light bulb I should say right okay so this is going to be really hard <laughs> with one hand but um, this rubber bit here I need to get in there lift that up and undo two screws to be able to pull out the bulb and replace it with the new one so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I can show you the aftermath of my work okay, so I managed to get that out and um, Got the two screws here. So if we go back and look at this rubber bit, so that was actually forward and I've just 
pushed it back to expose the bulb here. And then I've got my second bulb, my new bulb. So just looking around because I've never done this before. Uh, right. So I want to make sure it lines up exactly as the old one is. This is definitely not like changing a light bulb in a house. So this thing flicks up. And then you should just be able to pull this out. Okay, that was a bit tough, but basically this, these three prongs here go into there. So it took me a while and I ended up ripping that. Um, but I got it out. So this probably hasn't been changed in a very long time. Like I said, I've just done something like 20 odd thousand miles um, and had no problem. So this probably could be the original, I don't know. But it took a while, I've got it out. So what I need to do now is pull back that rubber without ripping it anymore and put the new bulb up in through here and then reattach it and put everything back together. So here we go. Okay, so I've got the new bulb attached. Look at that. Now, turn it on, see if it works. Hopefully it wasn't any other thing wrong with the bike. Woohoo, look at that baby. Now I get to put everything back together. So there you go. It's um, it's not that hard to do. Just a bit of common sense and remember where you take screws out of and put them back in. And yeah, hope you enjoy the video. See ya.